had an understanding of that humans were on a trajectory towards greater and technical possibilities. And he made an important statement, we are as gods, so we might as well get good at it. For the past 60 years, Stuart Brand has been one of the biggest champions of experimenting with technology to solve humanity's biggest problems. In his early days, he was one of Ken Kesey's merry pranksters using psychedelics, music, and light shows to expand consciousness. By the late 1960s, he started the Whole Earth Catalog, which quickly became a bible to hippies and techno geeks such as Steve Jobs, who famously quoted its parting message, Stay hungry, stay foolish. Dubbed the intellectual Johnny Appleseed of the counterculture, Brand's ideas and activism helped inspire the first Earth Day, and his early reporting on the personal computer revolution turned machines that were once synonymous with centralized bureaucratic oppression into devices of individual empowerment. His life is the subject of a new documentary film. His current passion is Revive and Restore, an organization that is leading the de-extinction movement by using biotechnology to bring back extinct plants and animals including the passenger pigeon, the woolly mammoth, and the once dominant American chestnut tree. This is what killed five billion American chestnut trees. These trees are functionally extinct because they can't reproduce and make a forest like they used to. But genetically, they're not extinct at all. They've got all the variety they ever had, and they're about to get one more bit of variety, which is one or two genes that'll help them head off the diseases that we brought here. Not on purpose. But the cure is on purpose. As the film shows, Brand's techno-optimism isn't without its critics. I would love to see a mammoth. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? That we can do it is so much fun and so fascinating for people who love technology. At the same time, we ought to be asking, should we do this? Is this a good idea? It's a criticism Brand rejects throughout the documentary. When genetically modified organisms were first created, most environmentalists were just automatically against it. And that actually makes me pretty mad because that's taking ideology more seriously than the ecosystems you're trying to protect. While Brand's vision for de-extinction has struggled with the very environmental movement he helped create, he takes solace in the historic cycles of rejection and acceptance. The co-directors of We Are As Gods, David Alvarado and Jason Sussberg, whose previous work profiled transhumanists experimenting with immortality, find value in Brand's perspective. Actually, what's more interesting is, is the use of technology, the discussion between like whether technology got us to this problem where we have, uh, you know, global warming, where we have a, mm -hmm. an, an, you know, an economic system in ruin and whether or not we can use technological tools like like Bitcoin or other sort of financial technology to get us out of the current mini depression that we're in or using geoengineering or other technologies to get us out of uh, climate change. I think that it's just it's just really easy to just say it's technology's fault. Well, what's the solution here? What are we talking about? What is the solution that th that kind of person would be suggesting? Because I just feel like we need to be working on it together and, and building better tools, which goes right back to the 60s and what Stuart was talking about. It's been a long, strange trip for Stuart Brand, and the planet he helped us recognize from outer space by goading NASA into releasing images of the whole Earth. What has kept him on the forefront of what comes next, from psychedelics to the internet to reviving extinct species, is his undying belief that technological progress will help us triumph over our largest problems. Now in his 80s, Brandt still believes in progress and the need not just for individuals but whole civilizations to keep experimenting, to keep pushing to stay hungry and stay foolish.